your calls, but because there are so many, and I would never get to hardly any of you if I didn't go fast, kind of have your question, your comment, your statement ready, I'm going to move on here. Then coming up, it's incredible news, I should have just started the show freaking out about this, but it's gotten to be just commonplace. We told you about this years ago, it was happening in secret, now they've announced that they're merging the U.S. and Canadian military, but they will use Canadian and Mexican troops on the American people. Uh, so we'll be going over that report. Also, the San Francisco Chronicle, huge report on concentration camps that have been built in the United States. Again, nothing new to you, but the, the reason this is important is that it's now in the San Francisco Chronicle. Also, some good news out of England. Schools remove CCTV cameras from children's toilets after furious protests from parents. Now, here in the U.S., they put cameras in thousands of school district bathrooms, and the parents are such Florida, uh, fluoride head zombies that they just think that that's freedom, just like in 1984, Winston thought a camera in his bathroom was freedom. And homeschooled Germans flee to U.K. A 1938 law never overturned in Germany when Hitler banned homeschooling. Again, he was a eugenicist. He said the state couldn't allow that. They're now not allowing any homeschooling in England, and people are fleeing Germany in mass. And that ties into how they're trying to ban homeschooling in California and Illinois. Uh, this is just the tyranny we deal with. So uh, that's coming up, too, and Russia threatening force against the U.S. Very serious things that are happening. Uh, again, I could talk all day about Barack Obama. Bottom line, the Democrats want your guns. They want to butcher this country. They want open borders, just like the Democrats. They're bought and paid for by the same people. Barack Obama doesn't have all the murders in his past, doesn't have the Clinton death list, doesn't have the wars and you know, millions of dead Iraqis and Serbs on, on, on his hands. So he looks better, you know, speaks better, I'm sure is a better guy than Hillary, who just radiates you know, demoniac glow, uh, you know, just like Bush or somebody. Well, Bush more of like a demon troll or something, or like a retarded demon troll. But uh, you know, Hillary, just up there arrogantly with all her baloney, I'm sorry if you support Barack Obama, you're being con. Just, just, just understand that. I'm not saying vote for Hillary either. Uh, Nader's jumping in. He's a really a socialist, but I've interviewed him a few times. At least he isn't, you know, complete co communist. But um, he's against globalism and globalization, the North American Union. So he might be good. I, I wish Ron Paul was running third party. But people that keep saying he's still in the race, uh, I mean, he still is in the race, injecting real ideas. All right, let's go ahead and go to your calls. Who's been holding longest? Ed in Northwest Austin, you're on the air, sir. Welcome. Yes, hi. Um, I heard your interview with Willie Nelson a few weeks ago where he talked about 9-11. And so is your guys, uh, you guys' theory that the federal government planted explosives in the Trade Center buildings before the plane struck them? Yeah, Bill Christensen, who was CIA section chief in Europe, believes that... Uh, Bill Doyle, the head of the biggest 9-11 victims group, says the majority of the 9-11 families believe it's an inside job. Uh, we have uh, Bob Baer, the movie Syriana is about, famous CIA commander, saying all the evidence points towards inside job. Did you know there's a whole bunch, over 200 declassified examples, where our government admits they staged terror attacks and blew up buildings in other countries to blame it on their enemies? I mean, first off, are you aware of that? No, sir, I'm not. But why, why did the government do that? Well, why did Hitler, and, and by the way, we always had the documents on this in Europe, 60-something uh, years later, uh, Marinus van der Lubbe, they they grabbed a, ret a retarded, mentally ill person, thrown him out naked on the side of the street, and said that he'd firebomb the Reichstag. Hitler then used that to become dictator and pass anti-terror laws and start grabbing the homeschoolers, and, and that's who he started with. And the, the, the uh, Your position, then, that the government coordinated this with the 
people that did that on 9-11 no. to, no, that's not to impose less freedom on us? Is that, is that your position? Well, well, they have said that al-Qaeda attacked us because they hate our freedoms, and then the government's done everything they can to take our freedoms. So it's true uh, that uh, al-Qaeda attacked us to get our freedoms, and it's true that our government... Uh, founded al-Qaeda. Zbigny Brzezinski just wrote another best-selling book where he brags in 79, six months before the Russians invaded, they uh, created a code name al-Qaeda, and that means the base uh, of CIA operations in Central Asia, and then they launched Operation Cyclone. This is all declassified now to attack Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and several other of the Russian satellites to get the Russians to invade, and, and, and then that whole thing was a large setup. I, I know they have a Tom Hanks movie that claims the CIA got involved yeah, in, in I, 85. But if you're flooding me with words here. I'm trying to stick Oh, to oh no, I'm sorry. I'm flooding you with, was, with facts, was, Bubba. The, 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 the people that piloted the planes, they coordinated that with the government who planned the explosives? Is that, is uh, well, well, who says that the official story that those guys supposedly piloted those planes? Whoever said that fairy tale was true or wrong? Okay, you do not believe that... Oh, no, 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 I do not... Sir, sir, it isn't that I don't believe. Okay? It isn't that I don't believe. I have the Associated Press. I have the San Jose Mercury News. I have the Pensacola News Journal. I have Newsweek. I have the Toronto Star. Did you know that... I interviewed the two heads of the Saudi Arabian U.S. Embassy in Saudi Arabia in Riyadh, and I interviewed the head of the main U.S. Embassy, Mr. Springman, in Ottawa, Canada. That's I know those are words, but Canada is a place. And I interviewed him. That's the capital up there in Ottawa. It's very beautiful. And about a year before 9-11, these guys are coming back into the U.S., and they're flagged as top-level terrorists, and, the, and he's not giving them visas. And all of a sudden, uh, you know, he's the head of the embassy. He gets a call from the State Department saying, let them in. That's their cover. He says no. Then the deputy uh, uh, of Secretary of State calls him and says, they're not terrorists. They're CIA agents. Uh, the terror designation is their cover. Now, that was in the Canadian and British papers, and I, well, I thought, my goodness, I better do, 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 call up and get that former, you know, heads of the embassies on the show. Okay, now, now you can say those are words. Your little story is you're going to talk real slow, like you're real smart, and I'm real dumb, and, and, and you're going to go, okay, you think. See, first I explain our government admits they stage terror attacks and blame it on enemies to start wars. That's been declassified hundreds of times. I tried to give you examples of that. And you, then you said, why would our government do it? Same reason Hitler firebombed his own capital. To say, oh, look, we're under attack. I've got to take all your rights and be your king. And you can't question me in my no-bid contracts to Heinrich Himmler and Hermann Goering and Jens Rome and the rest of them. Okay, so I'm answering your question. Government stage events, it's called problem, reaction, solution. Yeah, Gulf of Tonkins, I remember being called a conspiracy terrorist five years ago. That's now been totally declassified that that was all staged. Uh, to get us into Vietnam, killed 58,000 Americans, over a million and a half Vietnamese. The Italian, the former Italian president, the former head of their intelligence agencies, went public two months ago and said that everybody in intelligence knows the U.S. staged the attacks against itself, but not the U.S., the criminal elements. The number two in the Japanese parliament, the head of the largest, the second largest party, has been having public, month-long investigations, 30 minutes, an hour, live on television, every night in Japan. They're all glued. Former congressman went public on my show Friday saying he believes it's an inside job. That's up on prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. Andres von Bülow, the former secretary of defense of Germany, he was also the former head of intelligence before that, has gone public saying inside job. Number three in the Blair government, Michael Meacher, I flew to London to interview him, went public saying all the evidence says inside job. I mean, I can go on for like ten hours here. Physicists, scientists, engineers, architects, uh, the head structural engineer on the World Trade Centers, directly under the head architect, has gone public saying it's impossible for jet fuel. Underwriter laboratories secretly did its own tests. It had underwritten the buildings, Tower 1, 2, and 7, and found that it had to be blown up. And then they weren't allowed to release that information. 
And when Kevin Ryan did, the head of that division, he got fired. Now listen, I got loaded phone lines. I can't spend all day with little children. 84% of Americans in major polls believe the government's lying about it. Okay? So your ball game's over, buddy. We know crooks run the nation. So you can talk real slow and act real smart. Bush isn't a conservative. Barack Obama's evil. And you're a moron. We'll be right back. Stay with us.